Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video we're going to be playing a game called Rabbit Hole. This game was released uh, on the 10th of September. Uh, this is a survival horror game inspired by Silent Hill and Resident Evil. You play as Sean Turner and you are uh, here to save your daughter and your wife, your ex-wife. Uh, but there's been some strange monsters in the town. And you have to do various puzzles to uh, save your wife and your daughter. I'll leave the game in the description down below. Uh, there's more details on that game and where to get the game as well. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays 8pm PST. As well as if you guys aren't subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure you guys do. If someone had asked me what a real clusterfuck was, I probably would have said... It's when you come home and your wife is in bed with the guy you were drinking beer and playing poker with last week. And that's exactly what I would have said yesterday. Because I had no idea what a real clusterfuck meant. My name is Sean Turner, and I'm going to tell you how I got to this condemned cell. Amanda and I got divorced a couple years ago, and every month I come to Rabbit Hole to spend the weekend with my daughter Amy. But when I came to this cheesy hole this time, I faced something that was beyond common sense. The graphics look good. I don't know gonna get hit by a car. What? 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 What a surprise! What a guess! <laughs> what a guess! Ugh. All right. That was an interesting cutscene. All right. Okay. Management keyboard. Right. Fine. Sneak around. Roll. Run. Take aim. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So this is this game is pretty much inspired off Silent Hill and a little bit of Resident Evil, I think. So I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, map of the area. Okay, very Silent Hill, man. I don't know what these are down here though. The Karen Park, the dead end gas station, factory, school. Okay. Guess we just go exploring. I guess. I can't enter any houses. I guess we just keep going down the main road, right? Find a gas station to call for help. That white... Uh, that, that rabbit image appears when the game is saved. Hello? Can I talk to you? Hello? I need help. I got in an accident. Is there a tow truck at the gas station? Uh. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. How would I know? Why so quiet, Elvis? Say hi. Elvis, you named the raven after Elvis Presley? Um. Elvis Presley? Elvis is my husband. He was working in the garden, pruning the bushes, and suddenly, lightning struck him, and he's dead. There was a raven sitting nearby, so my pa's soul got inside him. For a few days, he poked and prodded at his old body with his beak, 
must really want you to get it back. I don't know, Trobley. You, you think I'll believe in that crap? You can believe it or not. Makes no difference to me. But if you bring food for my Elvis, then he will predict your future. People become so smart after they die. My pa was such an idiot. But after he died, he's now practically Einstein. Too bad he is not good in bad anymore. Just cause and cause the bastard. All right. It was fun listening to your fairy tales, but now I have to go. Some kind of nut says her paw is living inside a raven. Never heard anything so crazy. <laughs> oh, gas station. Oh, uh, it's up. Is it up here? Where did you go? No, I'm going the wrong way. Completely the wrong way. I need to go this way. This is show you so me while I am on the map, which is quite good. I'll take that. Uh, that must be the gas station then. Hello? Um, oh, hi. Okay, fine. I guess we go round the back of the gas station, I'm guessing. No, nothing. Oh, yeah, I've got a flashlight. <sighs> it probably explains why it was so <laughs> dark. Freeze, you toad! Or I'll mop the floor with your brain! Hey, hey! Easy, friend. I'm just trying to look for some help. A are you human? Have you seen what's going on around? The city is swarming with creatures that are just waiting to wrap your guts around their hands and there's no one else to help. Almost everyone is dead and the phones don't work. Where the fuck is help gonna come from? Hush, hush. Put the gun down, calm down, and let's talk. I, I saw Sheriff Hubert turn into one of them. Saw him trying to help people, and five minutes later, he was chopping up the body of his deputy. It's like the town is man or the Eva, dude. I know what I'm talking about. We're in a fucking horror movie. Mm. Shit. Looks like one of those creatures threw itself under the wheels of my car, and now it's wrecked. Uh, I'm from New Hampshire. I need to pick up my daughter and my ex-wife and get them out of here. I, I wouldn't be so sure they're still alive if I were you, and you're unlikely to find a working vehicle. The machinery breaks down. No one has been able to leave the town. This contagion is spreading like the plague. If you have a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> My house is on Elm Street. It's just at the gate <sighs> to the town, not far from here. What is this game? I have a small radio station in my room. If you, you got Elvis, the right and you got you Elm Street, Portland. what Military next? Grove Street? Weather, as long as they take these bastards down. Okay, I'll call for help and look for my daughter. Give me your pistol. No way, dude. That pistol is the only reason I'm still alive. Yeah, I think so, probably. How do you suggest I fight back? Or do you think I should go outside and wave my hand at him now? Anyhow, you have no choice and you won't get my gun. You have to be quiet. Don't make any noise and then you'll be fine. These creatures are very good at hearing noises. And at the slightest whisper, they'll come to you like blast of shit. Speaking of shit, I could smell it as soon as I walked in. You didn't shit your pants there now, did you? Not that I'm judging you. There's a lot of shit going on here. No, no, dude. That's just the way those creatures stink. Here, take the keys to my house. My mom always locks the door. Call for the help and get my mom here. She's old, but she won't give you any trouble. I'll start boarding up the windows. I don't know how long we have to stay at this gas station. Okay. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Crap. I've got a key. I'm guessing that's where I need to be. Oh. Let's go to Charlie's house then. Oh, what's this? 
Hang on, am I? Which I need a gun for. Yes, you can't. Can we speak to him again? He keeps something back. He clearly reeks as shit. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's get to Charlie's house then. Oh boy, this game so far. I, I don't. What the fuck is going on? I just literally just left. Let's see. Fuck is a sight. <laughs> what? Oh shit. Um. Okay. Okay. I was alive. I was alive for like two seconds. I was dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice load of Charlie. You had a really good cameo there. I have to find Amy and Amanda. I have to get them out of here. I mean, this is this is pretty much inspired by. Uh, dog. This is inspired by, um... Oh, what was it? Resident Evil and, um, Silent Hill. Hello, dog. Can we get in there? We can. Uh, use. There we go. I think they're upstairs, maybe? Let's have a look upstairs. Hello? Oh, what's this? In the bed. Ooh, that is creepy. What the hell? That's like Ringu gone wrong. <laughs> that is a bit creepy though. Not gonna lie. Don't tell me she's on like the last floor. Great, a radio station. Now I gotta get it on the right wave. Ah, there we go. Wake up, brothers and sisters. You have slept for too long. They have lied to us about our universe for too long. But now, I know the truth, and I will preach it to you. Our world weltered in darkness thousands of years ago. But now, it will be cleansed. We will cleanse it of the filth and fallen whores of dirty traitors and versatile bastards. Everyone who does not kneel before the great Clonotha will die in the throes and agony. Okay. Every sinner will rot and decay. All of those who have not followed us will get the taste of hell during their mediocre existence. But if a lost sheep seeks a way to its past, the doors of our temple are always open. We are waiting for you and your children. Through them, you will find eternal life. Innocent souls that are not stained by the vices of this world will be your key to salvation. Kneel before the great devourer of worlds, Clonotho. I am proud our little town has become the first dwelling of the ancient god. And that after it, the whole world will awaken from the sleep from which it has been for thousands of years. <sighs> Let the epiphany come, brothers and sisters. Let the all devouring darkness be with you. You. Oh, God, that was mumbo jumbo. I didn't understand that. any of that. Some guy just having a crazy time. First aid, as you do in any horror game. Uh, 
Okay. And gun ammo, nice. I'm in the wrong... I'm in Charlie's house. Where's his mum? <laughs> okay. Do I just show these other rooms as well? Like, where is she? That's weird. She's not even in here. She's not even in here. I haven't checked this house fully, have I? Oh god, there she is. Ow. Crazy bitch. Wow. There she was. Oh, look. Ringo on the telly. Okay. I'm guessing that's... I'm guessing that's that. I feel like she had something on her. No? Oh, she had the back of key on the chair. Okay. Seven days. Seven days to what? What are you doing to the fucking dog? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I came in at the wrong time. What the hell is going on there? Jeez. Okay. What's through here? Anything good? Bed. I'm constantly thirsty. My whole body shakes. Oh god, it hurts so much. My body is decomposing and I can't stop this process. Uh, we can't pay off the ch children's souls this evil is engulfed the world will engulf the world i wish i had realized it earlier if someone has miraculously survived and is reading this letter you should know i never wanted that to happen my darling is in my room uh, my darling in my room will help save the children this is the key to the seal the doors of those people those children have not been sacrificed oh i'm sorry i've chosen the wrong god God, Charlie, really? I mean, I got a medallion. Oh, God, Charlie, really? <laughs> you had to say that, didn't you? Right. See if there's anything else here. No, nothing else? Fine. We just got a medallion then. Right. I suppose we can. Oh. Where's the rabbit walkie talkie? Does anyone copy? Anyone? Oh, fuck. Nothing. Hi, Sean. Who are you? How do you know my name? I know a lot about you, Sean. But it's not important right now. You can call me Robbie. Robbie, maybe you can explain to me what's happening here. You can finish all of this. You need to try very hard to rescue Amy. Fucking hell. How do you know about my daughter? Let's say that I am an interested party. Your daughter is still alive, but you need to hurry. Don't ask any stupid questions. Just follow my orders and I will be able to help you. What do I need to do? Hmm, let me think. You need to get into the hospital. That's their new hideout. The roads are blocked off, and beyond the barricades, there are many people that love to eat other people. But there is another way to get inside. I think they will take you there themselves. They're looking for you, Sean. Find your wife. Talk to her. She'll be able to help. Stop it with these stupid riddles, Robbie. What has my wife got to do with this? No time to explain. Over now. Fuck. 
Who is this guy? And how does he know my name? Is my guy is so aggressive. <laughs> Calm that tone down. What, the, the guy I'm playing or the guy on the radio? Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh no. That's great. <laughs> Looks like it's still fresh. Okay. Ooh. Blood. <laughs> Shit. Why can't you get bitch? Say hello to my granny. Say hello to my granny. Right. Um, can we check these lockers? I think we can. Can we go in here? Yeah. I'll just go upstairs, Sean. Shall I? The PI open up. Oh, fuckers. Oh no. Die please? Oh shit. I'm fucked. Well, I'm dead. <sighs> what I might do is like lure them down the stairs. Yeah, I feel like it's a clusterfuck. Alright, we're lowering them down. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I wish I had a knife. That'd be great right now. Like, as I said, that zombies like straight away. Wait, what's this? Old photo. Cool. Don't know who that is, though, but that's fine. That's what I put in the first time. <laughs> that's literally what I put in the first time. Okay, we got a key. For something. I don't know what it could be. My roof downstairs, maybe? Let's try that. No. I already tried that. Probably on the second floor. I need to open. It's probably this one. No? Is it not? Okay, it's just... This key is definitely not me for a, for a door lock. Doors lock. Uh, what is it for then? Maybe we could try on the school bus. Let's try that. Let's try on the school bus. Okay, that works. Get in. Get in. Oh my god. Oh, 
Right, can we get in the school? No? Okay. Can't get in the school. Great, brilliant. Can we get around the back of the school? No. So Mel Sean, do you copy? Oh. Report on the situation. Affirmative. Just taking care of some bastards so that I can get inside my house. It's not nice to talk this way about the locals. Why did they become like this? They were always like this. Just the dimension changed. This is difficult to comprehend, Sean, but every object in your world has millions of copies in other worlds. And today, our worlds are becoming one. Clayton Cook has opened the vortex, and now the town citizens are being transformed into their doubles from the parallel world. Everything is happening gradually. How do I stop this shit? It's going to be easy. You just need to find a guy called Clayton, take the stone away from him, and stop Kalungu before he devours your reality just like thousands of others. Easy? Seems like you're a comedian. Don't drain the battery. Over and out. There we go. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Who's that at the end, though? Oh, God. Okay. There's someone at the end. Oh, he's gone now. Never mind. Right. Is this where I put the medallions in? What? I'm missing every single fucking shot here. There we go. Alright. So, this, which one done? Which one's this? This is the pig, right? Or acorn? I mean, if, if it fits, it fits. I'm probably going to be all wrong anyway, but... Oh, never mind. And the way to get to Manja's house. Which one's the right door? No. Oh, I'm fucked. Shit, I'm gonna die. Which one's the house? Oh, which one's the house? I'm probably dead here because I don't know which one's our house. Never mind. There we go. Get in. Okay, they're all gone. <sighs> yeah, rubber hole's good. Rubber hole's really good so far. Uh, if you don't want to get a start like me, it is pretty good. How are you doing, Bill? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it so far. Amanda, are you okay? Where's Amy? We should get out of here right now. Sean, what are you doing here? I came to spend time with Amy. I wanted to surprise her. Where's our daughter? She's absolutely safe. My friends are looking after her. Let's go. Take me to her. 
We need to get out of this fucking town. The dead come to life if you hadn't noticed. Oh, nice, Phil. Okay, Sean, calm down. We'll go and get Amy, and then we'll get out of here, okay? Just give me a few minutes. Alright, but hurry up. Let's make it quick. By the way, there's some whiskey on the table. Wet your whistle if you want. You look tired. The <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Um, but yeah, uh, essentially this game is a survival horror game uh, with like zombies and stuff. Oh, he's been drugged, I think. But uh, essentially, um, they've come from like a different sort of realm and stuff. It, it, I'm trying to get a full understanding for it because obviously I I was like half paying attention. Brothers and sisters, our home is defiled because we have brought an alive sinner here. We must leave this place immediately. We will go to our temple. Soon the ancient god will come and set us free. Take everything you need and go to the old catacombs. I will wait for you there. 